Okay then, so for this part of the question, we're given what f of x is and told that it's equivalent to a over 2x plus 1 plus b over x plus 1 plus c over x plus 3. And we've got to work out these constants a, b and c. So to do something like this, I hope you're familiar with partial fractions. If not, just go on my website and look at the tutorials for partial fractions. But what we do is we multiply both sides by this denominator here, 2x plus 1 times x plus 1 times x plus 3. If we multiply this side by 2x plus 1, x plus 1, x plus 3, then we're going to be left with 4 minus 2x. So we just put that down, 4 minus 2x. When we multiply this term with that denominator, the 2x plus 1 would cancel out with this 2x plus 1 and leave us with a times x plus 1, x plus 3. So mark that in. And then when we come on to the next term, b over x plus 1, we times it with this denominator here. It'll be the x plus 1 this time that gets cancelled out. So it'll be b times the 2x plus 1 and the x plus 3. So it'll be b times 2x plus 1 and the x plus 3. And finally, for the last term here, c over x plus 3, times it with this denominator, it'll be the x plus 3 that gets cancelled out, leaving us with c times 2x plus 1 times x plus 1. So c bracket 2x plus 1 multiplied by x plus 1. Now to work out the constants a, b and c at this stage, what we need to do is choose appropriate values of x which eliminate various terms so that we can try and avoid doing simultaneous equations. And one such value of x would be to make this bracket equal 0, say, when x is minus 1. So if we start by saying let x equal minus 1, we've got 4 minus 2 times minus 1, so that's going to be 4 plus 2. In other words, we get 6. So we have 6 equals now minus 1 plus 1 that's 0 so that takes out all of that term if we put minus 1 into here we've got 2 times minus 1 is minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1 so we've got b times minus 1 and then put minus 1 into this bracket minus 1 and 3 is 2 don't forget to put minus 1 into here but when you put minus 1 in this bracket that becomes 0 so it takes out all of that term so you have 6 equals minus 2b. So if you divide 6 by minus 2, you get b, and b equals minus 3. OK, so we have b. Now we need to get another value. If we choose x to be minus 3, that will take out this bracket. So let's do that. Let x equal minus 3. So if we do that, we have 4 minus 2 times minus 3. Minus 2 times minus 3 is plus 6. 4 and 6 is 10. So 10 equals. Well, minus 3 in here makes this bracket 0, so that gives 0 across there. Again, that happens here. We end up with 0 for this term. Put minus 3 into here. 2 times minus 3 is minus 6. Plus 1 is minus 5. So c times minus 5 and then put minus 3 into this bracket, minus 3 have 1 is minus 2. So 10 equals plus 10c, so if we divide both sides by 10, you end up with c equaling 1. One more value to go. Let's make this bracket here equal 0. So that means we can let x equal minus a half. If 2x plus 1 equals 0, x would equal minus a half. So let x equal minus a half. If we do that, minus 2 times minus a half is going to be plus 1. 4 and 1 is 5. So there's 5 there. Equals minus a half then plus 1 is a half. So we've got a times a half. Let's just put that there. a times a half. Minus a half plus 3. That's going to be 2.5 or 5 over 2. 
putting minus a half in here makes that zero, so that takes out all of that term, and minus a half in here makes that zero, takes out all of that term. Okay, so what have we got here? We've got 5 equals 5a over 4. So if you multiply both sides by 4, you've got 20 then equals 5a. Divide through by 5 and you end up with a equaling 20 divided by 5, which is 4. So just to recap then from here, let's just come down like that. What we've got is that therefore a equals 4, b equals minus 3 and C equals 1. And there you have it, okay?